I'm actually watching my own video right now. Couldn't see it or what? Just kidding. It's because I'm editing. And there's just so much. So, I agree, Moni, I agree. <laughs> I just, okay, so at the moment I don't have Wi Fi. That is my dilemma right now. Okay, so at the moment I don't have Wi-Fi right now, so I'm trying to find a system where I could upload. I have so many videos right now, and I'm just wondering if I should like, excuse me, I burp a lot, like a lot. It might be kind of gross to you guys, but I do it quite a bit, so just excuse it if I don't clip it out, because like, it's probably going to be mid-sentence a lot, and I'm just going to like, it's gonna be too difficult. So if if there is burps in there, just that is normal for me. Like my brother asked me yesterday, he was like, Imani, or he didn't ask me. He told me he was like, you burp a lot. I was like, I know, but I have to. It's okay. I'm gonna give you guys a, a story about everything that you say is manifested into reality. But when I was little, like fifth grade, it was like fifth or fourth grade. Burping was like the thing to do and all the kids were burping and I was like, I couldn't burp. I was like, how do you guys burp? Like, I want to burp. Like, I would never burp before. Then, <laughs> I'm going to okay? Okay. Say hi to my vlog. Hello. Ooh, bit mama. I like your outfit. Let's see your whole outfit for today. I was sharing a story of how I, I started burping so much. Ooh, you matched my room too. We're twinning with our hair. We should take a selfie together. Come back. Oh, that would be cute. Okay, let me pause it. Okay, so I used to say, <laughs> I used to say, man, how do you guys burp? I want to burp so bad. So then they're like, you just have to like, suck in and you just burp like they taught me how right am i in the same place I don't know. so then i wasn't able to fast forward some time now it was like it probably started like a year or two ago i would like get really bad like gas and <clears throat> this is probably tmi but i would get like really bad gas and it would just be too much that i felt like the only way i could get it out was if i burped so then I developed this habit of burping and then I couldn't stop after. Alright, I'm gonna be running, okay? Just okay. listen out. So then I developed this like habit of burping and now I really can't stop. Like now it's just a part of like what I need to do. I do want to stop burping and get my body healthy. I'm putting that into the universe because I want that to happen. Like, now preferably, but it's getting a lot better, but that's why I burp so much because like, my stomach will just feel too full and I'm like, I need to get rid of this gas in here. So then I'll burp and that just sounds really gross because if it's supposed to be a fart and it comes out as a burp, it doesn't smell like a fart though, it doesn't. That's TMI, that is too much information. But anything that I've ever said has happened. Um, whether it be something so small as just saying that sentence or even also like another scenario, like I used to always say, oh, I want to use my left hand so much. And then I got into a field where now I have to utilize my left hand even more than my right. And so it's allowed me to actually become like more not ambidextrous, but kind of. I do a lot more with my left now than I even notice because I'm so used to using it. But it's just like simple scenarios like that. And so if little things like that can happen, and those are kind of big things at the same time because now it's like my whole life's been affected by it. But if we can implement things where we speak into existence the things that we want now, 
later on in the future they will come so that's what I was kind of getting to the root of it that was like a really long story for that whole scenario but that was basically the gist of it all that everything that you say everything that you want does manifest itself into existence you just have to really want it and really believe that it's going to come true one day like that's the beauty of life you know <laughs> that is the beauty of life so that was just a, a really long scenario a really long scenario because it's too much i think i just talk too much but that's why i made this so i could talk a lot so i could talk about the things i really want to talk about and not be ashamed because I believe that, yeah, that the people who are meant to watch these videos are going to somehow come across them because I'm, I'm not going to advertise or say anything about them. I just want the people who are really meant to listen, really meant to, to watch, watch the videos and I hope they really enjoy them because everything that I talk about, I want it to be very real. I want it to be very organic. I don't want it to be something that's staged or anything because I don't think that's real life. I don't think that's how we're supposed to be living. I really believe that the true nature of us is something so unique and it's something that can't be fabricated into this perfect image and and I like a lot of imperfections in life. I think that's what I'm drawn to most in life is imperfect things because they're imperfectly perfect and like just the uniqueness of any of everything sorry it's like kind of loud because we're getting um our kitchen remodeled so if you see my last video where i'm just sitting in the kitchen rambling i was singing i was vibing we was chilling we was chilling in the kitchen but our kitchen is getting remodeled right now so that's why we had some cabinets missing all that stuff they're putting up the towel in the back the backsplash backsplash we're getting that and it's just gonna look super nice and I'm so excited because we were supposed to get these little white tiles to go on the backsplash but now it's like kind of looks like more of a wall like brick and it's beautiful like it fits with the rest of the house it's so like uh, I don't know even like with decorations and stuff I know a lot of people are like into certain things but I guess it's I don't know I do know I need I said I need to stop saying that but I do know I just need to find the words to express myself the way that will be clear to other people because sometimes I say I don't know just because I don't have the words to say it but that's not good to say because like I said you are manifesting stuff into existence so if your catchphrase is I don't know pretty soon you're not going to know anything because you keep saying that you don't know you don't know you don't know and we do know we are very aware oftentimes the answers right within ourselves sometimes we just gotta center ourselves to find the answer but we will find the answer like I promise us we will find the answer and it's not me saying this it's just it's been said before because it is the truth and that is the word of God whether you read it in the Bible whether you read it in the Quran whether you read it in any religion that brings you back to the source and the oneness of your true nature hey so be it I I realized that there are a lot of false religions out there, but the religions that are based primarily on love, on oneness, on peace, those things bring you back. And if, and if in order for you to feel higher about yourself, you gotta put down other religions, then you're doing something wrong and, and you're not acting out of love because in order to uplift yourself, you don't need to put down others. I think that's, uh, very negative what is the word I'm just gonna have my dictionary pretty soon just be looking up because I kind of know I just don't I know I just don't remember the word don't remember my dad taught me that he said don't say forget say I don't remember because I guess forget seems more like a negative way and when you really get to the root of it it Words do matter because words are kind of just like if you program a system, you're programming them with these symbols and, and words are made up of these symbols called letters and we're programming the future with our words. So if we use words that have negative energy attached to them, not because they are bad words, but because the 
energy, the stigma around them, what fabricates the word is negative, then you could kind of bring that into your life. So kind of picking and choosing words. I need to do that. I obviously need to do that because some, I use some bad words. I don't really think they're bad. It also gets into attention. There's so many things. There's so many things that we could talk about on this channel. And I just wanted to talk on this channel because I'm so excited to just finally have this channel to talk with people, talk about real things, talk about like issues that people might be having in their lives. And, and I really want to get back to what I feel is my purpose and not saying that this is necessarily all my purpose but getting back to things that I feel bring me joy and I feel a lot of our purpose is mixed in with our joy and, and I love helping and talking to people so I do want to talk about different things I do want to talk about different issues and I just want to bring another aspect of life to YouTube not that my life is any more special but that I want to share the unique parts of my life, even if it's just going to the store, but just talking. I guess the unique part of my life is that it's me. Not saying that I'm special, but you are special too. So if you were to have a YouTube channel, the unique part of the channel would be you. Because we are unique and divine in our, in our own way, you know? And I think we have to really understand that and really believe it because if we don't believe it, we'll never achieve it. We'll never achieve what we strive for if we don't believe in ourselves. And that is a lesson that I am learning over and over again. Like sometimes I feel like I progress and then I get to this point where I get back down and I keep going like roller coaster. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes. I just want to share some love on this channel and really just connect with real people. <clears throat> See, excuse me. Connect with real people who have real issues, who are really trying to change themselves from the inside out, not from the outside in, who, who want to feel love from within because we are love. So we are love, we want to feel love, but Sometimes I don't think we realize that we are love, so I just want to share all that good stuff, all that good, luscious life that we have. It's just, we have it. All of us have it. Right now, you have it in your room. When you're watching this, you feel some love. You feel some presence, and it's, it's not me. It's God. It's God trying to talk to us, and and it's God. It's the universe. It's the oneness. It's, it's everything in one. <laughs> everything in one, like... It's, it's the unexplainable, so even even when I try to explain it to my, my full ability, I won't even be able to explain it all to you guys because it's just too much to explain sometimes. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful life too, so we just have to appreciate life. And I hope on this channel you feel that. So I'm so happy for whoever's been watching or whoever is watching. I don't even know when this video will be up, but it'll be up when it's supposed to be up. And I'm just so happy that we're here together sharing this moment because this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a new start. Every day is the beginning, but there, I think there needs to be other videos for this, but I guess what really motivated me to do it right this moment, this time, and do it right was the fact that I just got out of a relationship.